Hey, welcome back to the shop. Today, uh, we're going to be doing a unboxing and demonstration video of the Yoda, the Twinstar Yoda Clean Reactor, as well as the Twinstar Aqua Cradle. Uh, I think one of the big things that I get asked a lot is how do you prevent algae? And, you know, the biggest prevention is, you know, never letting it really get into the tank in the first place. I mean, clearly you're going to get algae uh, in some respects. Uh, and, you know, the ultimate answer is keeping uh, your tank uh, maintained. Uh, that's doing water changes pretty regularly, uh, ensuring that, you know, the debris uh, from plants uh, and waste from, from the, the animals in the tank are removed on a regular basis. Uh, but ultimately, you know, there are technologies out there like uh, the Yoda um, clean reactor that that'll help prevent that in the first place. And so, um, you know, we'll talk a little bit about that. We'll do a, a quick demonstration of, you know, how this works. Uh, and so, yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> so this is uh, the Yoda. This is a design for uh, larger tanks, uh, more so in the uh, 50 to 80 gallon range. Um, and it basically uh, what you what you get when you do purchase this product are really a few simple components. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the technology. Uh, if you go on the Twinstar uh, site, it's, it's, I would say, not very descriptive just because, you know, I'm sure there's proprietary information. But, you know, in doing my, my own research and uh, seeing some uh, opinions online, I feel like uh, this is really similar to an air purifier in the context of um, generating an electrical current uh, to uh, essentially um, create uh, create uh, gas that will then disrupt the proliferation of um, of pathogen spores, um, and so essentially it's it's pretty straightforward. You you receive the uh, uh, power supply. The diffusing disk and the reactor itself, um, and a few uh, suction cups. So, uh, you know, in terms of installing it, it's going to be pretty straightforward. But you know, why I think uh, this definitely makes sense to use, and I will, when I specifically use it is actually uh, during an initial startup. Uh, one of the things, you know, when you do um, plant plants in a, you know, very new tank or even a, 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 an older tank as well, you know, it takes some time for uh, the plants to establish the, their root system and to start to grow. Uh, but during that time, you know, you're, you're pushing in some nutrients, you've maybe started CO2. And so that gives an opportunity and maybe you've upgraded the light and that ultimately gives an opportunity for uh, the algae uh, blooms to occur. And so basically what this does is it actually runs and starts a, you know, a, uh, a process to generate uh, some, some gas, right? Some H2 uh, as well as O2 uh, and it incorporates and, and you'll see it actually um, create those, those mi microscopic or really tiny bubbles in the tank. And it uh, effectively breaks up the spores that are generating, you know, the way that algae, um, as well as any other pathogen, pathogens for disease, um, proliferate in your tank is through these little spores that are um, distributed from, you know, that 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 key source. And so, the bubbles effectively break those up so that they can't grow uh, within the tank. And so. Um, that's why I say that, you know, it's, it's best to use when you first initially start a tank just because um, that's where, you know, the algae itself hasn't established itself. Um, you know, it's going to generate just because of the, uh, the light uh, as well as the waste in the tank. Uh, but, you know, you, you basically, uh, what you're doing is just preventing that initial bloom so that your plants can take on the nutrients. And then once your plants are established, you don't necessarily need to, to run this all the time. And so it's, it's an interesting you know, concept and a, and a take to uh, keeping the water uh, clean is, is this uh, technology because you know, certainly when you're 
generating that kind of you know electrolysis in the tank, um, you know, it certainly can have negative effects to other bacteria and a higher li life forms. And so, um, I think you know what TwinSart has done is created that uh, balance of how do I, you know, uh, develop this or insert this process into the tank without ultimately killing all the other um, other uh, higher life forms in the tank itself. Um, and so uh, with that, uh, it's essentially this will sit outside of the tank and you will connect um, connect this actually to this uh, aqua cradle and we'll open that up in a sec. Uh, but essentially the uh, diffusing this, is uh, plugged into your reactor and then the reactor is plugged into uh, the power source. And so it's, uh, I would say it's pretty straightforward. And again, um, you know, there's a lot of research and you know, none that I would say is definitive just, just because of the fact that um, Twinstar, you know, I think is trying to keep the technology close to the vest and, and making sure that, you know, it's not copied. Uh, but, you know, as I would say, just kind of, you know, looking at um, technology similar to like air purifiers and, you know, a lot of it certainly is, you know, actual filtering of the air, but there is this level of uh, electrolysis, that, electrolysis that occurs that kills those pathogens in the air. And so you've got your uh, reactor here and, and this comes in uh, various sizes, right? Nano, Yoda, Yoda Plus, Shrimp. I would say that they effectively work very similar, uh, just really the, the size of the tank uh, that you need um, is, is what you would choose. This is for much larger tanks, you know, in the 40 to 60 gallon range. Uh, Yoda Plus is anything over 80 gallons, and then the Nanos and the M3, M5 are for the smaller tanks. Uh, we have them here at the shop. Uh, they're on sale right now, so it's a great, great time to uh, pick them up. Uh, this is uh, a um, something that you don't necessarily need, but it just uh, I would say you know makes the deployment and installation a little cleaner, and the look of it a little cleaner. And so it's just really a, a cradle that that uh, snaps into your reactor and holds it, uh, so that you don't you're not having to stick uh, you know suction cups onto uh, this as well. But basically. Uh, this uh, reactor will install into the cradle itself and you'll replug in this uh, the, the power supply and the diffuser and then going back to my suction cups I will install these as well so this is the piece that will hold your, your diffuser in place inside of the tank. And so, you know, tr you know you'll, you'll need to, to um, you know, clean this every once in a while. You can just dip it in, um, in a bleach combination uh, to clean and make sure that this is uh, not building up with algae or debris. And you have that uh, installed there. Uh, and then the suction cups will go into the uh, reactor itself. And there you have it. That is the completed uh, assembly. So it's really straightforward. You don't really need to even look at the uh, instructions. Uh, and then let's go ahead and put it in one of the tanks here uh, so you can see it in action. All right, so here we have one of our very beautiful uh, uh, display tanks, so one where we're selling uh, tropical plants in, and I'm going to actually install it in this tank itself. Uh, and how I'll do that, I'll, I'll actually put it in the back, um, and so that, um, and then, you know, it'll be a part of where uh, the water is pushed out. Uh, we've got two uh, filters running in this tank, and so. Um, we'll put it in the back and let it um, diffuse from, from, from there. All righty. So um, you may not have an easy view of it, but uh, 
we will put it right in the center here. And then you can see it. Uh, so here is the diffuser. It's going to go to towards the, the bottom of this tank here. And then once that's suctioned into uh, the bottom, we'll go ahead and turn it on. So you can see there it is. It's uh, towards the bottom of our tank, and then we'll get it turned on. So the Yoda uh, has multiple settings, uh, two settings, just depending on how often you want it to run uh, and how um, bad your either your algae bloom is currently. Um, but you know, for this size of a tank, you know, I like to put it at the at the top setting just to make sure that. We're optimizing um, and preventing, you know, any kind of algae bloom. And so it is on, and we'll give it a second, and it should start running. So you can see uh, the diffused bubbles in the tank. Uh, it actually one where it is an eye catcher. Uh, so kind of cool uh, to to just see in general, but you know that it's actually providing a huge benefit to the tank. So hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, and again, you know, I think the, the biggest thing uh, in regard to preventing algae is never letting it establish itself in the, in the first place. You know, clearly, uh, you know, the biggest prevention is, is certainly keeping your, your tanks clean, keeping them well planted as well. Uh, so when you got a high amount of vegetation load, plant load, uh, that's going to be your biggest bet. Uh, to preventing algae, but again, there is technology like the Yoda that's going to help you prevent that and, and keep it to a to a minimum. All right, so um, check back again for more uh, videos and advice uh, on the site. And thanks for um, uh, thanks for joining us. All right.